Next region that we're going to be taking a look at is going to be uh, the upper thigh muscles. Um, we've got some on the medial side, we've also got some on the lateral side. Um, what we're going to be focusing on first is going to be on the medial side. So you position the cat this way, and one nice thing that's really going to help you out, I think, is going to be to identify where the blood vessels are. I cleaned a lot of fascia away so you could see them, but this blood vessel is going to help to divide this medial side into two regions, a posterior region as well as an anterior region. This topmost muscle right here is actually very thin and it runs from the top part of the ilium all the way to the inside or medial, so it's the lateral portion of the ilium, all the way to the medial portion of the knee. This muscle is called the sartorius and it allows for a lot of different types of actions, but it's a thin strip of a muscle right here. We're going to keep one of these intact, we're going to reflect the other one. Directly below that is going to be another muscle, and what we're going to see is it runs from basically the uh, pubic symphysis, so the pubis bone, it's going to run again to the inside part of the knee, it's actually the proximal tibia, and this is called the gracilis muscle. And what you can do, it looks like I'm stabbing through the muscle, and actually I'm not, I'm just kind of separating it out from the rest of them. It's just fascia that holds it together. And I just run my finger along underneath, pulling that muscle out and isolating it. So again, what we're going to do, just like with the sartorius on top, I'm going to leave one intact um, on both sides, and on the other leg, I'm actually going to reflect it. So I don't need to be quite so careful on this side. I'm going to reflect those muscles so you can see what's underneath. So I take my scalpel, we're going to do it at the distal end. And I'm going to just peel back that muscle and we'll clean up some fascia in, in just a second. I'm going to do the same thing to the sartorius, which is actually a little bit easier to, to clean out. Both are pretty easy. Pull that back. Now there's a couple reasons why I did that. First of all, so you can see how thin it is, but also because then you can see how um, the underlying muscles. We're going to be identifying some of these muscles uh, as well. I clean a little bit of fascia. Most people don't even have much fascia there at all. Um, so we can see some things with that. This cat has a little bit there, so I'll try to clean that up. There's going to be a natural break in your cats right here. The reason for that is you've got some different muscles found inside. Clean up some of this latex. The muscle down below, now this is the gracilis that I'm holding in my finger. Um, here's your borderline of that blood vessel following along here. It kind of ruptured at this point and it usually does in one leg. Um, down here below the gracilis is going to be the semimembranosis. I'll try to tighten in on that so you can see it a little bit better. There we go. So here's the semimembranosus muscle. And it actually is best identified from the medial side. You can see it from the lateral side, but I'm going to test from the medial side. So this is the only one you'll need to know underneath the gracilis. This is the only semimembranosus. This is the only view you're going to have um, for that for the test. Now in here, there's actually several different, uh, a couple different muscles called adductors, but I'm going to group them together. This is, these are the adductor muscles. Remember, adductor means going in. Abductor means going out. So these will be responsible for bringing um, the leg in toward the midline. Uh, flex it medially. Okay, the, these are the adductors. Now moving up to the top, up above this blood vessel, here we're underneath the sartorius. I've reflected that away. You're going to actually see a couple muscles here, and the first of this is going to be the vastus medialis. Okay, what I'm pulling away right now is actually the vastus lateralis. It's best seen from the other side, but it does wrap around the other, um, wrap around to the medial side as well. If I pull that away, it's important to realize that there are actually several muscles underneath. These are going to be more of what we call our quadricep muscle. And the reason they call it that is because there's so many muscles uh, involved with uh, the flexion of the lower leg or extension extending out. I should probably use that term instead. If I do that, you'll see that there is actually another muscle sitting right in the middle of those guys. Now what this muscle is, is a muscle that sits right on top of the femur. Oop, it kind of fractured away a little bit. 
sits right on top of the femur. Okay, just like with the abdominal muscles, what you're going to find is that that muscle, because it sits right on top of the abdomen, we called it the rectus abdominis. Well, with this one, this one sits right on top of the femur bone itself, and so that's called the rectus femoris. Okay, it's a tubular shaped one. This cat, the muscle definition was really strange and it got really stringy. Um, which sometimes happens, so I'll try to smooth it out for you a little bit. Okay, I'll zoom out the camera so we can see, get a better perspective on things, then I'll rotate it around so you can see better. But we're on top of this blood vessel, we're underneath the sartorius, here's your vastus medialis, right on top of the blood vessel. If I pull that away, you're gonna see a tube-like muscle. Again, I apologize for the hack job on there. This is a tube-like muscle right here between my fingers, and that is the rectus femoris. Now, to find that, what I did is I literally pulled away the vastus lateralis, okay? So there's that. Now, it's important to be able to pull that away because what we're gonna do is we're going to go and keep pulling this vastus lateralis and fold the rectus femoris over. Ah, here we go. Got some fascia to clean up, just a second. If you're really careful, hmm, this cat is pretty stringy. We're losing some of the fibers here. If I look inside there, what we're going to see is a vastus intermedius. Just get a little peek of it. This is, sits literally right on top of the bone. It's right there, right in between. So it goes vastus medialis, rectus femoris. I'm going to fold that off to the side. We'll see our vastus intermedius and then our vastus lateralis. Okay, this is the lateral side. Now I'm going to flip the cat over. We're going to see um, one big muscle over here. And this is one big muscle right here. This is the biceps femoris. Okay, moving up to the gluteal. Okay, here's the sacrum and everything else. We've got two gluteal muscles that I'm going to have you know. There's one big round one. This is the gluteus medius. Now these are really tough. There's a bunch of fascia in between. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to outline it for you. Gluteus medius is this muscle right here as it goes around. And the gluteus maximus is this muscle right down here. Okay, so gluteus medius, gluteus maximus. Again, they're named after the human. Um, obviously in the human, the gluteus maximus is bigger. Not mine, of course. And then we get to the gluteus medius. On the human, is smaller. Um, on the cat, obviously, because of the, uh, the fact that they're quadrupeds, you're going to have that. Now, what we're going to find is that there's a little muscle right here. This is the tensor fascia lata muscle. Okay, you'll hear it pronounced a couple different ways. Um, tensor fascia lata is right here. And the reason they call it tensor fascia lata is because we've got a real strong bit of fascia that goes with it sounds like you're tearing paper. Now when you do that and tear through or cut through, the best way to do it is to cut through the, the fascia with a scalpel. When you do that, what you're going to see is the vastus lateralis. Remember you can see that from the other side, but here's the vastus lateralis from the lateral side. Now again, underneath we've got the fascia. This whole muscle right here is going to be the biceps femoris. What I'm going to do is I'm going to follow along the ridge of that on the distal end. We always reflect from the distal end and we reflect it up to the proximal. When we do that, we're going to see 
a bunch of fat, and we're going to see some fascia, and we're going to see this muscle directly underneath the biceps femoris. This muscle is the semitendinosus. Now, don't worry. You will see in diagrams and everything else. Don't worry about identifying these muscles because this muscle right here is a semimembranosus, and up here is going to be the adductors. Okay? Don't worry about identifying those from this side. When you lift up the biceps femoris, you'll want to find the semitendinosus. I'm going to flip the cat over. Okay, here's where the gracilis was. If I lift that up, again, just in review, here's our semimembranosus and the adductors. Okay? No, that's not blood on my finger, that's just latex. Okay, up above, vastus medialis, rectus femoris. I pull it aside, I'll see my vastus intermedius, followed by the vastus lateralis. Those are the upper leg muscles.